So it's kind of funny because I guess my first, one of my first impressions was, I remember thinking like, I'm in Europe. And especially at the start of my mission, I'm in a European capital. And it really, there wasn't as much to do as I thought. You know, a lot of the country got pretty destroyed during World War II. Um, what with fighting the Russians, they also fought the Germans. You know, pretty much the northern, I might even say the northern half of the country got burned to the ground and rebuilt. So it's very modern. A lot of Helsinki got bombed, so a lot of it's been rebuilt too. It's kind of modern. And there's not, it's not like in Italy or a France where there's museums everywhere and world famous buildings everywhere. I bet most people can't even name like a building in Finland. Um, so for the first few weeks, it was like, oh, there's not a lot to do. But the prettiest part about Finland is, is the landscape because it's so untouched. Um, anytime you can go see a lake, it's just incredible. They call it the, they call it like a, like a Minnesota. They're, their catchphrase for their country is the the land of they say the land of the midnight sun or they'll say the land of the 10,000 lakes so anytime you can kind of get out of the cities and go see these lakes it's just incredible it's so pretty the Finns like to build cabins around bodies of water and they'll go do the sauna which is actually just a sauna but they'll go do sauna and then they'll run out and, and jump into the water um you know, and you do that in the middle of the summer at two in the morning and it's still light outside. Now the missionaries aren't allowed to do that, unfortunately, but but that's something I do plan on going back and doing. They also have something called Avanto, which is the same thing, only it's in the middle of the winter. So you like literally go cut a hole out in the ice, you sit in your sauna, you get it up to super hot, you stay in there as long as you can, and then you run out and you jump into this little hole. And they'll tell you, you have to make sure you do it with somebody else. Because if you pass out when you jump into the water, you're toast. So that, that's something that I, once again, that I want to go back and do. Um, but really, they, so they call their cabins mukis. If you can ever get a member to take you to a muki, it's just the most incredible experience. Because there's these, these little one, two room cabins. They're, you know, log cabins. They're in just the most beautiful places in the world. They go there to have fun, to eat. And to do the, the sauna thing. And it's just an incredible experience. Um, and also, if, if a member invites you to a Muki, you know you've got a good relationship with them because they don't invite very many people over. So that, that's incredible. It's so cool. Um, Rovaniemi is a city that like everybody wants to go to. That's um, where the Santa Claus village is. Um, Yolupuki or Santa Claus is there. Um, and it's a, it's a kind of a, a destination like international destination hotspot. I always see it on lists of best Christmas cities in the world. Um, there's reindeer up there all over the place. It's, it's, I never got up there though. So I was like, one of my goals was to go there my whole mission and I never made it that far north. But that's every missionary's dreams of, of going to Rova near me. I did get to serve in, in La Peranta, which is on the eastern part of Finland. So it's right by the Russian border. So I did go see the Russian border which was pretty radical. That was a pretty surreal experience. Um, and the countries, they obviously don't fight anymore, but I don't really think they, they really like each other that much either. So it's a pretty serious border. It's not like, like the United States and Canada where there might be a chain link fence or there's probably nothing. It's, it's pretty serious. They still have like the old sniper towers up. Um, they still have pictures up about how you'll be shot if you cross the border, which I don't know if that actually would happen or not, but, but that was pretty interesting. Western Finland is, in my opinion, the prettiest part of the country. It's, it's old. It's like old Finland. The buildings are significantly older and it's very Swedish, which is, is really kind of pretty. Um, so I really like being in Western Finland. I tell everybody to go to the churches because the churches are just incredible there's always like a town hall and then there's always a church and they're always just kind of like straight across from each other and even small little cities like you can go to a city of two or three thousand people and they'll have this like magnificent church even though the people aren't super religious that that was always kind of fun so i would see as much of those as you can I think of the winners are just incredible and you know people the missionaries included tend to maybe get a little 
I don't want to say depressed because I don't know if they necessarily go that far, but people do get a little moody because it's so dark and cold, but it's also just gorgeous. You know, when it snows and it, it snows a lot, I have some pictures of some buried cars. It's really humid there too. And so it, it frosts. I mean, I've got pictures of, you know, pine trees with frost coming off of it. That's like three or four inches long. It just makes it, just makes it beautiful. They love to cross country ski there. There's actually, there really aren't any mountains, at least until you go really far north. And so instead of downhill skiing, people cross country ski just all over the place. I always thought that was kind of fun. We actually went and helped. It was called the Finlandia Heath though, and it was a, you know, a marathon distance cross country race, or sorry, cross country, uh, cross country ski race. We went and helped volunteer at that. That was really neat. They have a lot of ski jumps, like what they'll do in the Olympics, those crazy guys that'll go jump, you know, 130, 140 feet. There was a guy from the city of Lahti that won a couple medals in the Olympics a few years in a row. He's considered one of the greatest ski jumpers of all time. And they still in most cities have active ski jumps. So I remember going out and watching him do that a few times and that was, that was insane. That was really a neat experience. I saw a guy crash too. But he was, he was okay. He walked away from it. But I always thought that that was just insane. Um, there is, you know, I just remember this. There's a big fortress um, outside of the harbor of Helsinki. It's called Suomenlinna, um, which is like Castle Island. It's really, really neat. You could spend, you could spend a ton of P days there just kind of like looking at all the old stuff. Um, there's also some castles over in eastern... Finland and they're not like the medieval castles that you'd think of they're not as cool as, as castles in like Germany or France but they're they're still pretty neat um, they're, they're they're just cool to see and to go tour and they're always more than happy to bring you through things the town halls are always open and they're always like you they're usually really pretty buildings and so I remember always trying to visit the town halls just to kind of look around they loved that we were Americans speaking Finnish and they actually would usually kind of show us around for a little bit. They also, each city's got its own like crest of arms and the cities make like little pins with those sills on them and you can collect them. Um, so I've got, you know, I've probably got 20 pins from all these different um, city halls that I visited and I got. And like I said, they just loved, they loved having Americans there. That was always cool. Um, street food, if you can find it, was like always really good. They'll have like um, meat pies or like apple pies um, that you can buy, and they're like always they're just incredible. They're super good, and the ice cream there still to this day is the best ice cream I've had in my life. So you'll see ice cream just all over the place. It's worth spending a euro or two to to buy it because it's awesome. I've heard it said. I don't know if this is true or not. But I've heard that they eat more ice cream per capita than anywhere else in the world, except for like maybe one country. So you, you gotta take advantage of that. Um, and I know this might sound kind of lame right now, but it was a big deal there. Shopping was huge. Um, Finns are very trendy. And so the missionaries wanted to be trendy too. It was like always kind of a joke when I was there at least as to when you would throw away your big baggy you know, American suits, whether they were from like Mr. Mac or the Missionary Mall or CTR clothing, it was always a joke when you were going to throw those away and go get your first European suit because they were really nice. They were slim. Um, and so that was a big deal. And they go super on sale. I bought a three piece suit for 90 euros and it's, it's like, I still have it. It's held up that well. So shopping was actually kind of a big deal. And we had a lot of fun with that, you know, trying to find just nice stuff that, you could either bring home or wear in the field too. So take that for what it's worth, but it was, it was fun.